play and call it work. Uh, uh. Mini War Gaming's Warhammer 40k Battle Reports! Hello there, folks, and welcome to Ludicrous Legion Lockdown. Of course, we have Kenny here and Luca from Mini War Gaming. Uh, today, we are doing something special. This is a new take on the Legion Lockdown. We are trying to show you the entire process, essentially. And of course, right afterwards, in the vault, we'll play the game. So it's going to be a... I have no idea how long this video is going to be. At this point, I'm recording it. It could be 5 minutes. could be 10 minutes. could be 45 minutes. Uh, hopefully, it's not 45 minutes. That would be awful. That would be rambling for 45 minutes. Regardless, this is going to be the process of us determining our armies randomly. We have a printed out sheet. Of course, I have tons of responses. Thank you, everyone, for all the responses from the Ludicrous Legion lockdown list request. Uh, whatever that was a while ago. I, I think I got near 50. <laughs> So, I am going to be using all of them. I'll start with the first one I got and kind of work my way up the list. And as an appreciation to all of you who put some work into it, some put a ton of work into it, some put a little bit of work, I appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, oh, the, today you. is by Vernon Hahn. Yes. yes, that is it. So, thank you, Vernon Hahn, for sending in your Ludicrous Legion lockdown list for us. It's nice and organized, and I really appreciate that. Uh, but again, today is going to be, or sorry, this video will showcase the armies we're getting, the building of said armies, kind of walking around looking at the collections, and then we're going to look at the blank slate of a table. I think Kenny called it a canvas to work on. Express our... I did that as a joke. Inner artists. Yeah, please, please don't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Kenny wants to be an artist today, oh, and yes. he wants to sculpt the table. So, I don't know, it'll show the whole process of, because we don't, we're not too concerned about the competitive nature of this. It's Legion Lockdown. It's grab the best bad stuff you can grab and try and make a list out of it. Uh, if you remember last game, there was <sighs> Rubric Marines beating the crap out of Blood Angel Dreadnoughts with the butt end of their Infernal Boulders. Full bricks of 20. <laughs> yeah, that is a good example of Legion Lockdown. Um, regardless though, I say we get right into it. Let's take a look at the list by Vernon. And I guess just construct our list. Of course, again, I want to remind you, in the vault, we'll be playing the game right afterwards. If you're not a vault member and you want to check that out, click on the link below. And you can sign yourself up for, sorry, sign yourself up for a seven-day free trial, and it'll get you access to that game. And all of the other thousands of videos we have in the vault, including painting tutorials, uh, breakdown by Quirk, as well as narrative campaigns. We have like 300 episodes of Warhammer Fantasy Battles if you want to check that out. If you're not familiar with what that is, go ahead and check that out in 30k. And if you want to come in and volunteer for Ludicrous Legion Lockdown, sorry Kenny, it's not exclusively for you. I... <laughs> Anyways, if you want to come down and play this with me, just when you email support at miniwargaming.com, just ask if you can join in on Luca's Ludicrous Legion Lockdown. You can still bring in your army just in case you roll it. Or... I guess, you know, we can figure we can figure something out. If you really want to play it and you really want to play your army, I'm sure we can make it work. But if you just want to come in and do the whole random nature of it, bring your army in and then maybe you get another army here at the studio and you want to use it, by all means. Uh, I find this very fun to play. Uh, it's very relaxed. It's very... It's just a perfect pickup game almost. Anyways, guys. Assuming you have 20 armies. Exactly. This this is something that maybe only we here at Mini War Game 2. I'm sure there's someone out there who has all 20 chapters slash legions available to them uh but that well, is something 18, i guess sorry you're right 18. i anyways i digress <laughs> let's let's get to the rest of this video and uh let's see what we end up playing all right kenny we're ready to begin yes this, we are we got we got we got a black we got a blank table here this okay this mat is not locked in this is the mat that was in the studio when we arrived we could make this work but i, I if we use this mat it just means we're lazy <laughs> <laughs> we, we were creative enough to get something else. I'd like to do a more thematic map based on what we get. Yeah, you know what? I guess we can randomly determine what armies we're yeah, gonna get if here. We get like thousand suns. This is perfectly fine. But now, would you look at this ludicrous Legion lockdown list by Vernon Hahn? Wrote your name down as a you know by Vernon Hahn. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you. Look at my handwriting. Isn't it beautiful? We got Kenny's old faulty list. Well, by default over to the side. This is, you know, a lot of trial and error. This is like our third rendition of it, I think. This is the proper, very organized 
by Vernon. So again, I appreciate it. We have the original D20 roll on the side here. And then once one person is determined to be loyalist or traitor, Vernon was also able to um, organize it over here. Just a simple D10 to see what we're playing. And we've changed up number 2 and 11. Just because those are the Lost Legions or Unknown Legions. You know, whatever happened to them. Maybe number 2 was wiped out by Lehman Russ. The Lost and the Purged. Is that what they? Is that their official title? Uh, lost. I, like one is lost, one is purged? That's what they call them in uh, First Heretic. See, I want to read that. You should. I, I'm getting to it. It's finally on Audible, so I can finally listen to it. That's not reading. Uh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I devote a lot of time to video games. My, my drive to work is listening to audiobooks. Imperial Allies is number two. So we change this up. Um, it used to be Grey Knights, but we're going to include everything. Up to 50% of the army's total that total value may be taken as allies with the faction keyword Imperium. I'm so scared about the stuff. You could bring knights. Yes. That's uh, the, that's 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 the same. I guess chaos could bring chaos renegade knights. Yeah, yeah never exactly. Mind. That's so actually a boon. We have the exact same for eleven. Up to fifty percent can be chaos. So thank you, Vernon. That is a good suggestion. Yeah, uh, at first we thought it was just gonna be like chaos demons. And then for over here, it was gonna be I was thinking Imperial Guard only, but it could be up to fifty percent guard, it could be knights, it could be custodes, it could be Inquisition, Grey Knights, Death Eisenhorn. Watch. No, your your named character is Eisenhorn. <laughs> you bring your one named character as Eisenhorn because that is under the rules of engagement. And as I mentioned, number eleven here is the exact same. We have Chaos Allies. So you reroll on the chart, you get another Chaos Legion, and you can add up to fifty percent of whatever you want: demons, uh, Renegade Knights. So be it. Oh, is there anything else? I'm only disappointed because. I love the Book of Lorgar. I love the name. I know. The Book of Lorgar was a good name, but Chaos Allies is a little bit easier. Yeah, it is. Imperial Allies, Chaos Allies. And I suppose if you're not familiar with what this is, uh, I'll let Kenny do it today. He's going to roll a d20, and that's what he's playing. Okay. I've done it both times. I actually think it's your turn. Oh, is that true? Yeah. I've done it both times. I did the first roll. I've gotten traitor both times. All right. I think it's your turn. Okay, fine. Okay, I'll do the initial d20 roll. And where you'll I'm, get where I'm going to get Loyalist. We know that, that that's what's going to happen. I, can't, I played Blood, Blood Angels last time. I think I like them enough that I'll, if I get Blood Angels again, I'll keep it. Uh, and then There's no rerolls. There's no command point reroll. You got no command point. I just don't want to end up playing like Salamanders or Ultramarines twice in a row. Salamanders or Ultramarines? They're all cool, but... Fine. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. I'll be rolling this D20, and that is what I'm playing. And of course, list building. Uh, let's look at the rules of engagement. You know, why not? This is If this is new to you, uh, this is the ever-evolving rules of engagement for the Legion Lockdown. Only one named character per player. Simple enough. It could yeah. be a Primarch. Not, sorry, no Primarchs! That, that's ours, and I almost Wait, broke the second rule! break rule two! No <laughs> Primarchs! Number three, always Heretic Astartes versus Adeptus Astartes. As a base army, you can inc 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 yeah. include other allies. Number four, have fun. You have to. It's a rule. You should, you should underline that one. It is a rule. Uh, and then, of course, must use open war cards. I think I had previously said in a previous rendition... Oh, I'm falling over a chair. In a previous rendition of uh, Legion Lockdown, I said you don't have to use open war cards. We changed it. You have to use open war cards. There's no choice. <laughs> if you break it, you're a bad person. Whoa. This is our baby. <laughs> and, of course, as more rules come along, we'll add them to the list, but we only have five for now. I would like to see the day where we have 20-plus rules. I would like to see the day where one of those rules is you can only bring 25% as custodes. Oh, I'm you think, so scared of toughness five. You think? Yeah, I guess. Two up armor save, oh, four man. vulnerable save. Chaos space marines versus 50% custodes sounds awful. That, that's a loss. I guess we'll see how that goes. I, I mean, I'd rather fight maybe. knights. <laughs> oh, knights would be scary too. <laughs> Imperial allies, chaos allies. Again, we're not trying to bring anything dirty. Custodes can be played pretty tame. They don't have to be. Ten bikes. Yeah, it could be walking boys. It could just be yeah, guardian. Or are they called guardians? Yeah, uh, custodian, custodian guard, guardian. Yeah. custodian warden. So the rules are done. We have the legion lockdown. I think we're ready to go. I guess I have the honors here. Uh, again, after we roll this, we're gonna look at the collection we have. We're gonna walk around and figure it out. Yeah. Huh, I don't want to be loyalist. Eight. Night lords. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh, I get to actually be traitor. I feel like if you roll anything, it's cool. <laughs> I know. So I'm the Night Lords now. That oh. is Josh's personal collection. He has, so both Josh and Steve have given us permission to use their armies in this. So we can use Dark Angels and we, uh, Steve's Dark Angels and his Iron Warriors. Boom. And Josh's Night Lords. The rest is the studio. So I just have to be careful with these Night Lords specifically. All right, Kenny, that means you are a loyalist. You're going to be rolling this D10 and we're going to consult the chart. Don't get a two. Don't get a two. Six. Blood Angels. 
Are you That's, okay? Uh, yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. There's right. no command point reroll. There's, there's no rerolling, so it's gonna be Night Lords versus Blood Angels. Yeah. One of those armies has a much larger collection than the others. And one of those armies has a real codex. Yeah. So Kenny was really hoping out word bearers. He wants Galvor back. They did, I guess they'd have to be used as possessed. Yeah, they would be. But, but you, you just call him Galvor back the entire time. I would use Galvor back and call him Galvor back. Well, our only 30k army, sorry, our only word bearer army is 30k fully. Boy, is it big. Beautiful. It's amazing. Beautiful. It's all den of imagination. Ooh. I say we go. I gotta run to my desk anyway, so let's go. Let's take this. Let's take this journey through. This is this is usually like loyalist stuff, but not for today's game. You know, here's some terrain that we might use. There's also some garbage right there. Let's uh, let's go to where the blood angels and the night lords are. They're over this way, I think. Enter the darkness into Dave's studio or his office, I guess. Bam! Here we here's the word bears we were talking about. Word bears. Word bears. Word bears. Word bears. Uh, word bearers. Look at all these word bearers. Look at them. Galvor. Look at the Galvor back. This is what Kenny wants to play. The Galvor back. That's 30k. Very powerful in 30k. Good stuff. Uh, but here is Kenny's options. We got Blood Angels, Blood Angels, Blood Angels, Blood Angels, Blood Angels, Blood Angels. Bl Some of these are Flesh Terrors. They got a very small amount of Flesh Terrors, which I are, which I are believe are somewhere up here. Maybe. Over here. Maybe. I don't know. What do you want to run? What, what do you? What do you? What catches your eye right away? Everything. I, I had originally planned or hoped to have run bikes. Bikes. We don't have any blood angel bikes. Yeah. Well, people don't run bikes. Yeah. Well, we got land speeders. You want to run all those land speeders? Sure. It's dark in there. Don't oh, don't geez. actually do that. This, don't do that. They're awful. <laughs> it's awful. Uh, they're they're beyond regular awful. What do we, we got? A lot of primary stuff in here. Look at that. This is a headless. There's generator. all the flesh tears. Look at this guy. He's got no head. Well, to be fair, the Terminator heads, uh, they fall out often. Uh, we have a lot of space wolves that are missing heads down there as well. What do you What do you think? What's the first thing? You don't know? Are you... A battalion, obviously. A battalion <laughs> is the first thing you want to do. Uh, now, one thing to note, all these blood angels, all the sergeants in here, are like hand flame or power sword, for whatever reason. Dave really liked hand flame or power swords. So that's, that, 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 that's your sergeant loadout. I'm in on that. Sure. I rused him. There's... Four bikes. Well, one's an attack bike. We found them. Good, good find, Kenny. Good find. I also think uh, this Lamentor army here would be very acceptable. They are, you know, a successor, I believe. Pretty sure they are. Uh, but the wings kind of lean into that. Oh yeah, and the weird weeping heart. The Lamenters. I think their fluff is they're the unluckiest chapter. That's their curse. Is the curse of unluck. So the perfect army for you. Yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> probably end up running as much of this as I can. You gonna run Lamenters? Yeah. Oh. The unluckiest army? How could I run anything else? Fun note, these are all painted by Adam at Greenleaf Terrain. I'm pretty sure he sold them to us because he had such terrible luck with them, he was fed up with them. And I, I honestly I honest, honestly think that's true. So uh, take them at your own risk. Are you are you just gonna take you just gonna go with it? I mean you pretty much have, if you're gonna run Lamentors, you have to pretty much run everything here because you are trying to get to two thousand points. Well I can definitely see like four hundred and fifty <laughs> points of Land Raider. Yeah, that's fair. You can put five Assault Terminators in. Actually, no, that's, a, that's the Redeemer. All right, so is this locked in? Yeah. You're, you're going to go Lamenters as your Blood Angels? And uh, maybe the Sanguinor as a name character. Is that, yeah. I don't know if you run him with the Lamenters, though, because he's got the Blood Angel keyword. These have the Lamenter keyword. Are, you, they, are they not a Blood Angel successor chapter? They are, but like, you know... It sounds you, like it's covered in the Codex Astartes, my dude. <laughs> but here, here's Josh. Where's the Night Lords? D d downstairs, remember? Why are they... Oh. Why are they downstairs because I keep my stuff downstairs because I have an office down there because it's the only way to stop you from stealing my glue all the time no I got my own glue now I think it, yeah, it, I, it's my own glue, glue yeah. I was gonna say it's been on my desk for a while it's my glue now I also stole your flock but I returned your flock though did you oh just yeah. a sec you gotta use that drop pod why oh it look, looks at cool. it. look at it yeah I guess I could oh I'll use that contemptor too I've got, actually I've got the um power fist downstairs too if you want to use it yeah sure I'll run a contemptor whatever he's Why got magnetized arms oh wow hellforge contemptor immediately better than the yeah. army I've chosen <laughs> what was wrong with Lamenters what is this drop pod it was it was going to be a dread claw before I started working here okay and, uh, and then I started working here and never ran a dread claw because it's too small to be a proper dread claw right I don't know you can use whatever you want it's a drop pod a chaos drop pod sure <laughs> Sure. Is that, I think I have to look at the Forge World stuff. I'm not too sure what they have access to for drop pods. The idea is for 30k, I can just use it as a regular drop pod if right. I want to. But in uh, 40k, about the proxy that has some sort of Forge World kind of chaos-y thing. I think it'd still be a, you could still use it like a Dreadclaw, I guess. 
I guess. Yeah. It's, a, it's just it's a, a compact one. one. Well, it'd be like me using your rhinos as normal rhinos. I was going to say, okay, they're still normal <laughs> rhinos. They're official models. Yeah, official before I was born, <laughs> I guess. I okay, <laughs> it's not my fault that I have rhinos from before the fall of the Berlin Wall. Wow, you can't complain about the tenure of his models. I yeah. guess, I guess. I mean, I might use this. I might use this as a claw. Who knows? I'll put maybe five tactical marines in it. Okay, so this is the start of my stuff you're stealing. Yeah, I'm gonna steal both of these okay. things because they're cool. I'll, I'll bring. I like the paint job. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Let's take a look. Are you gonna use this as your captain? Absolutely. Okay, so this is gonna be your captain in Terminator armor. That's all freehand. It's probably gonna be my warlord too. Look, look at, at him. Look at this. Look at this. On his wrist, it says "Lament and Glory." Adam is a very skilled individual, <laughs> and I, I, as I said earlier, I'm pretty sure he sold this because he had awful luck with them. He did have strangely awful luck with those lamenters. And he, he put hours of work on them and he said, I don't want them anymore. <laughs> and here they are in the hands of Kenny, probably one of the unluckiest guys I've played against. Which is perfect. Maybe, maybe those ones can turn into sixes. I guess we'll see. So we're going to be playing them as obviously using the Blood Angel rules, but they are the lamenter chapter. They're a successor anyways. Yeah. So by all means, use them as Blood Angels. They're apparently, what, a Cursed Founding, you cursed said? Cursed Founding, which is... Uh, what is a Cursed worry, Founding? I think it was the 23rd. It was one that... The 23rd? Okay, so, if memory serves correct, the old school lore, the Cursed Founding, there was a bunch of successors that they... N none of them worked out for various reasons. <laughs> so, the Lamenters, they tried to get rid of the Blood Angels, Red Thirst, and... Didn't. Black Rage or whatever. Clearly right. didn't work. No. It, well, apparently, or it worked. I think not. it did, but for whatever reason, they're the, the most unlucky guys in the universe. And then there's a bunch of other chapters that it was rumored that they may have used some traitor gene seed. And there's, I think the Black Dragons were one of them. Uh, oh. There's a whole Blood list. Ravens. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh. Oop, oop. There's a whole big a list of them that nobody successes. plays. <laughs> That are super cool. I would play the Blood Ravens in a heartbeat. They used to, well, the Blood Ravens, okay, people play Gabriel like Angelos. <laughs> I think you can get them. They, I they, think they, you they came after. They're a yeah, video game. They're a video game I'll chapter. I'm the guys that have, like, in third edition, they had, like, the stats of Plague Marines, but they're definitely not Plague Marines. Oh. That sounds sketchy. These are my <laughs> Dusk Raiders. <laughs> yeah. The Raiders of Dusk. I guess we go downstairs now. But this is. We're gonna go help Josh bring stuff downstairs first. Go ahead, Ken. You got this. <laughs> This is this is the part of the video where we do soft office work. Hey, that's mine. I said <laughs> that. I'm taking it. What what are you all your fantasy stuff's going down? Yeah. I'm clearing this out. We need it for more warehouse space. Oh fair. I played that. Because you know I mean I, the, the fallout mask is very critical though. <laughs> uh we've entered the basement. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, Here's Josh's yeah. office. Josh, where are those night lords? Right here. Yeah, all over the place. Look at them. There we go. Um so you can't use my bikes because they're not based yet. Awful. So that's. Oh, I would like to use. Uh, Look, even. it's a hockey. It's a hockey thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna repaint the walls now that I've taken this office. So. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, Here they are. Well, that's like. Oh look, a land raider. So okay, some of them are in there. I've got some of my desk still. So the Zyphon and Raptors. But I've got this forge roll garbage. These. No Raptors. You, mean, these aren't forge roll, bud. These no, are. Not the Zyphon. Oh, that's yeah. That's good forge roll garbage. Bring it. What's well, the spotted dicks? It's on. What you, what's wrong with the spot? Sometimes you want to. It's just dessert. Why do you just you just carry that around with you? Well, I, I don't know. I leave it down here. I don't carry it around. I got a place for it. Yeah. All right. That's fair. Okay. Fine. Uh, oh, that's the Titanic. And strength, then right? uh, you've got more in the table war case. Okay, that's a lot of. Jeez. All right. I didn't expect the Light Lords to be so sp spread around. Oh, here's the extra arm. Yeah. I'll probably take that. So you have an extra arm. Cool. 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 You said don't cool, use cool, the uh, cool. Raptors. Okay, well, because these are metal. Are they so metal? I've got. Yeah. Oh, they are. So I've got the Raptors I converted you can use. They're probably better options for you. I will work with that. I'll just take these. That's actually kind of heavy. Kind of fracty. Yeah, I'm going to bring those for sure. But I probably won't use the Sakaran. Yes, you will. I'm li Listen, I you either use the Sakaran or the Land Raider. I'm going to use the Land Raider for sure. Land Raider on Land Raider today, buddy. That's uh, Vito Verano painting over here. Is that... That's Vito the Vest himself. Yeah, Vito the Vest himself. The Vest? Uh, yeah, exactly. He looks like Vests. And then Josh likes to uh, give him uh, give him crap for that. He doesn't wear them anymore because I started making fun of him for it. Or all pointing it out to him and he didn't like it. What's what like, he, was, he did? He did an interview with Cullen, and then Cullen's like, "So who's Vito the Vest?" I loved that story. <laughs> that was a good story. This might sound I actually weird. haven't watched it, so I gotta watch that. Sounds I assume he throws me under the bus. It was at the very end. He did throw oh, you under yeah, the bus. Beautiful. Yeah. Sorry, what Vito the Vest? Does he uh, like? Is it 
cashmere vests, or does he wear like a, a I leather? I assume he's got some very a leather fancy cowboy vests. vest yeah. with well, some Vito's, tassels. He's a pretty fashionable guy. Vito's an attractive and fashionable guy, mm -hmm. so uh, yeah, it makes sense to make yeah. fun of him for it. He's attractive, but I've only ever seen him wear like swe sweatshirts and jeans. He, he's always working. He's yeah. always working. So Whatever. He likes to dress up when he's not working. Oh, got some night lords here. Got some mm -hmm. Night lords up here. Nah, I think I'm ready to maybe construct a list. At least I'll be able to use a battalion, Kenny. Mm. My list is formulating here. I got. I'm gonna, I definitely am gonna run two squads of terminators and a land raider. So that's 1,500 points almost right there. It's pretty pricey, uh, and it's not great, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna. It's gonna work. These guys are gonna ride in the land raider, and these guys. I am playing them as chaos terminators, by the way. These guys are. I'm oh, sorry. These are in land raider, and they're gonna be coming in from uh, reserve. Oh, they have to be. You're right. I can't. These are actual cataphraki, uh pattern Terminator armor, but I, Chaos doesn't have access to that. Nor does Chaos have access to this javelin. Or, sorry, land speeder. I wish I could. Josh is giving me terrible ideas, but I like where he's going. I think these. I'm going to run these as 20 Chaos Space Marines with chainsaws and bolt pistols. It's going to be. Uh, well, I, maybe the sergeant here will actually have a plasma pistol, so he's going to be kind of kitted out. Yep. So he'll be lucky. Uh, but yeah, and then. I think he mentioned make the Marcus Lanesh and give him the Slanesh banner so they're a little bit more durable. But yeah. And you have an excuse to have the apothecary because they're not actually worshiping Slanesh. Yeah, no, they're just. Uh, they brought their apothecary with them. Yeah, this is. Uh, they're not actually. Yeah, you're right. Not actually worshiping Slanesh is just a way to make it legal to give them a feel of pain. I always really strongly believed in Counts As armies. Right. Um, so the concept that you can do some of this stuff where. Like sometimes I'll run the Mark of Nurgle along with the Nurgle banner. Just to give them more fear. To give them more fear, because it ties into the fear mechanic. Yes. And the only other thing with them being Nurgle is the um, that Nurgle spell, I think it's the Miasma. Yes. Which ties into the Night Lord's kind of negative one to hit, right. to hit thing. So I can agree with I can agree to the counts as aspect of it. I don't actually know what kind of points I'm at right now. I really do want to run these guys as a squad of twenty chaos space marines with bolt guns. But that's not as cool as that's that. The other guys. No, but I will run that if I don't if I if I don't have enough points for both. I will run them instead. <laughs> all right, Kenny. What have you uh, What have you figured out? So, what are you bringing so far? Is it just this? Is that all you worked on? Uh, no. So I've gotten so far. I've got a spearhead. Oh, so I got land raider pred pred. Yeah, and uh, librarian. <laughs> you gonna run this as a librarian with a jump pack? Yeah, I can see that. Well, that's what uh. A certain uh, executive here at Midi Wargaming has told me to do. Oh, Josh said you use yeah, that. Yeah, he's got the he's got the glowy hand. Of Josh course, just he's... pointed at him. He's like, "That's a librarian." It kind of looks like a librarian. Well, I I, I could see that. I, I could see that. And then we have my uh, fast attack attack. Use land speeders. This is one squad of land speeders. One squad of two. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And yep. two squads of ten assault marines with jetpack. You're not gonna run them as sanguinary packs. guard. Just gonna be normal guys. No, this is way cooler. Or, or maybe it's not. I don't sanguinary know. guards have the winged jump packs as well, but they're super elite. I think they're still fast attack, but they're pricey. Thought it was best to go get the codexes to build our list, uh, and then uh, Kenny's is missing because uh, yeah, somebody has misplaced. Someone lost our codex, and it wasn't me. I don't uh, work here. No, it wasn't Kenny. It wasn't me. I'm gonna put my blame on Dave, but I could be wrong. So if it's not you, Dave, I apologize. Uh, you are still innocent until proven guilty. All right, so I figured out my troops, and I'm upset because I'm missing three tactical marines. Or, sorry, chaos space marines. I hope, hopefully I don't say that a lot. Uh, these are going to be t a squad of 17 chaos space marines. We're going to have plasma gun, plasma gun, and sergeant will have power fist and pistol, I guess. And then over here, we've got a squad of 20 chaos space marines. The sergeant's going to have a power axe, plasma pistol, and the rest are all just chain sword and bolt gun. And, of course, uh, we're going to have the sergeants have the icons, and they're going to be just the Nurgle icons. They're going to be Mark of Nurgle. I, I agree with Josh. I don't like actually saying they worship Nurgle, but they're just going to have that icon to spam more leadership. I mean, I am Night Lords. All right, finalized. List done. Uh, technically, I'm over by 20 points, but I think Kenny was able to compensate and give himself some extra points as well. Yeah, 100 killer missiles, folks. So here we go. Oh, I'm missing 10 cultists to fill up my battalion. Boo! Boo on me for bringing cultists. Not on Astartes, but... I really want. Yeah, I also agree with your complaint. I gotta go grab them. But imagine this list. It's all WYSIWYG except for this guy here. There's a couple of the weapons, because these are um, Night Lord specific 30k weapons. This is gonna be a power fist and bolt pistol. I'm just, he, he'll have a bolt pistol, and this, what looks to be a two handed weapon on this Chaos Lord with jump pack, is gonna actually be a power fist. Same profile ish, so it's gonna count as times two strength, 
negative three d3 damage. It makes sense to me. And we'll say it's a we'll say it's two-handed as well, because uh, no no we won't. That's too much. He'll keep his bull pistol. <laughs> and then everything else is WYSIWYG. I think I wanted to say yep there WYSIWYG. The sergeants here are gonna have that's a treat that as a power sword. Same profile as a power sword. Sure. Negative three strength user one damage, and he also has the same glaive which will be a power sword. Same glaive. Let's take a look at the lamenters. And of course in the vault video we're going to proper details about the loadout of what these models have. All right, Kenny was actually able to 2,000 points with Lamenters only, eh? Yep. Okay, so what, what, uh, what's the general idea here? What, uh, what is Count as? What's WYSIWYG? It's all WYSIWYG. Okay, so it's all WYSIWYG. You have your actual teleport homer. Yeah. Zero, zero points. It, it, was, it was in there. Yeah. So, so right. I think a teleport homer is actually five points. Oh, wow. Okay, they, have melta bombs, but they have melta bombs, but... They have melta bombs? Yeah. Oh, jeez. What are you going to do? Nothing. <laughs> That's scary. Okay, well, then we got two land speeders, WYSIWYG, right? That is a squad of land speeders. Oh, sorry, what? one squad of land speeders. No battalion, of course. It looks like what a, the fast attack one, the outrider. Yeah, one fast attack, the two ten man squads. Oh, and one heavy support one. And one heavy support. Right, so you each got. Each with an extra HQ because I got I had to fit the point somewhere. So these are, these are the assault guys. Are these, these aren't Sanguinary Guard then? No, these are assault uh, marines. Assault marines. They got flamers. So two squads of ten assault marines, and then the land spear unit, and plus one of these HQs will be in that one, or two of them will be in that one, and then two will be in the other one, I assume. Yeah, the captain and Slim Gwinius will be in the fast attack. Slim, that's the librarian. Yeah. All right, and uh, then the sanguinary priest and the chaplain will be in the heavy support one. The religion boys are with the heavy things. Uh, the less religious boys. With the fast attack. The fast attack. All right, let's uh. Oh, let's take a look at this table. We still have a lot of work to do. Uh, oh, we got yeah, oh, yeah. We still have a table to build. Right. All right, Kenny. Uh, we have to choose the new mat. What are you uh, are you feeling? You want to do the water fight? Water fight? What's that third mat now? Why did you say it twice? Water fight. Look at Tutu. Look at Tutu. What are we? A bunch of magic cards? Splash. Splash. <laughs> you wanna you wanna play on this one? Sure. This I one don't here? know what it is, but let's grab it. All right, that's the one then. That's what we're using. Is that We've done it. We've got past the first lazy step. We've changed up the mat to this. Mechanicum looking mat? Kenny's being lazy though, he's just sitting there texting. Hmm. I am responding to uh, somebody's wrong opinion. <laughs> now we need terrain for it. Hmm. Da -da -da -da. At this point, I'm just showing off all the terrain we have. No, oh, Josh is in here. Josh is in here. Scrambling around. You're not talking to yourself. I'm definitely not sure. talking to you myself. You're talking to me. I am I'm talking to the viewers. I'm talking to you folks. What should I use? I'm gonna use that stuff for sure. I already grabbed a piece of sector mechanicus. Nice. Probably gonna be looking at a lot of this stuff. It's dark though. Oh, I can't even see that. Huh. Pipes. <laughs> All right, we got a, uh, the base of a table going here, uh, but we need uh, more scatter. So scatter's the next step. I like where this is going. We got kind of like the industrial work site and uh, a lot of line of sight blocking on this side. There's gonna be a little bit more open over here, but we're gonna put down some like barricade esque cover, like those pipes. And just, uh, we li I like to use scatter, I suppose, as a barricade. But we're nearly done. Uh, Kenny doesn't like this, apparently. What's wrong with this? I don't know. It just looks unnaturally broken. Un. Like, look, this, this whole giant chunk. Like, it should have probably be... fallen over the side. The whole chunk is supposed to be the top bit, right? Yeah. Oh, what are the odds he's going to land perfectly in the center, fully intact? There's odds that it could, and that's what happened, I suppose. Not much we can do about it. This is how it was built. Yeah. How come this is on that side instead of like... Because, like, it... That broke over top as it was crumbling in on itself. I know it's, it, it's a stretch. <laughs> it's a stretch, but it's what we got, right? I'm sorry it's unnaturally broken for you, but it's that is what it is. Uh, viewers, if you the hate... The warp. If you, viewers, if you hate this piece of terrain, let me know and I'll never use it again. <laughs> and that's it. We have a table. It's a little busy, but I like it. Lots of things on the ground, a lot of barricades, a lot of things like that. Uh, though I do have legion-sized squads, so I don't think I'll be getting cover from barricades. They're all nicely organized over there. Uh, I guess the narrative behind this game is, uh, was it through a series of many unfortunate events, the Lamenters have found themselves here, fighting yeah, they chaos. Had, they had a previous fight. They came to a well-known Sector Mechanicus planet in the area to get sure. free fuel. What do you get, want to call this planet? Get him. Uh, Doily. I don't know. Griffones 12. Griffones? Yeah. All right, we're fighting on Griffones 12. It's official. Done. Make it canon. Sure. Sure. 
microphone's 12. I, yeah. I thought of, I think I fought here low before. Low on fuel. Low on ammo. And here they are. Ready they to fight? here to refuel. Oh, it turns out there's a massive chaos attack happening yeah, anyways. Yeah, there's a Night Lord ship. And they're like, oh, great. Oh, great. Looks like we got a fight. Yeah, they land and they just happen to ring the perfect land raider to counter them. They already had it on planet. Who I, I have the yeah. I have the counter land raider, your flamer land raider, the redeemer. <laughs> it's what you had, so yeah. you took it. I'm actually very surprised you made a two thousand point list out of this. I guess I can see that. That's like almost five hundred. Was it like four hundred and like twenty ish? You know what? Uh, yeah. And the, they're like three hundred and ten. This hyper expensive. Oh yeah, the predator with all las cannons, quite pricey. This one is also pricey, not as bad, but you know the predator auto cannon is not cheap. They're expensive. That's expensive with the Typhoon missile launchers. Yeah, that's an extra hundred points between them. Just the, the missile launchers yeah, alone. Yeah, the missile launchers right. are worth like almost as much as the model. Anyways, guys, we are ready to begin. We are going to throw our models down on the table and we'll get right to the game. That is, of course, going to be in the vault. So uh, if you're not a vault member and you want to check out this uh, Legion Lockdown game, see where this goes, with our two awful lists facing each other, click on the link below, sign yourself up for a seven day free trial. Again, get you access to that game, all the other Legion Lockdown games that are going to be coming out in the future. And, you know, thousands of other battle reports ranging from 40k, Age of Sigmar to Fantasy, pain tutorials, narrative campaigns. Horus Heresy. The 30k, which is what we're trying to do, but in 40k, because we got to get that 40k content for you folks out there. And, uh, again, another reminder, if you want to play 30k, come on in and volunteer. And, again, come volunteer for the Legion Lockdown. I love playing this. I love doing this. This is kind of fun to do. Yeah. Just kind of. Just a little bit of fun. Please don't make this be also my show. Yeah, this is going to be Kenny only. Kenny and me. But, it, again, you have that option. When you volunteer, ask if you can do the lockdown. Anyways, stop it there. Wish y'all happy wargaming. I'll see you in the vault.